Good afternoon, holy people. This is Be of Good Cheer, and my name is Dao. I want to do the Bible journaling for a long time because I love Bible journaling. And today, I just want to show you how can I do it very easy and simple way. You just need some sticky notepad and some highlighter, or maybe if you have like um. The washi tape or colorful tape, you just bring it. So I just start to use my pink highlighter that I got from Amazon. I link everything down there, and then I choose color like you know, green. I love pink, green, and yellow, purple, because it just is the last week, and I have so much enjoy seeing springtime. You know. Easter story of Jesus Christ, it just make me so much happy. And today I'm choosing very colorful. I like yellow. I love bright yellow. It help me to be like a sunshine. You know, be happy and be cheerful all the time. And then I choose. Actually, I like something, you know, pink. But I think, oh, this is like pink and purple. So I just choose this one. I like something kind of different color, but still, you know, um, being the same like spring color, right? Everything bright, green, yellow, and pink. It just make me feel so happy. I choose three different sticky notepad, and then I'm going to write um, the Bible verses that I choose today. So today, the verses that I going to do is from Mark chapter 11, verse 24 to 26. So um, it said. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. And when ye stand praying, forgive, if ye have ought against any, that your Father also which is in heaven may forgive you. Your trespasses, but if ye do not forgive, neither will your Father, which is in heaven, forgive your trespasses. So I just write everything down there, and I write very carefully because I don't want it get. Um, mistake or have some stain, so. But I just kind of make it faster here in video, so it just look like I write very fast, but actually not. <laughs> so um, I read this chapter on March third. Um, yeah, and it just like h e l p me, Father. Spoke this word to me, like give this wisdom to me. I have to forgive. I have to repent. You know, because he loved me. He doesn't want me to hold something in my heart. He want my heart to be clean and pure, no spot or anything in my heart. Because he loved me to pray for him. When I pray and ask him for something, he want me to receive it. But before I receive that blessing, I have to clean myself first. I have to clean my heart. So um, yeah, that time I was really mad. <laughs> This is my testimony. I really mad with my husband. I really mad at him because uh, he um, went out of town, and I think. Um, that week we have um, our son birthday party, and I didn't know that he he was um, leaving. 
during the same day, I mean the same time, like during that birthday party. So I was so mad, like you know why you didn't tell me before. So I, so I just not gonna send like birthday invitation to people to the family. But you know it's too late. So but you know instead of forgive, I just choose to be mad with him. <laughs> so I feel like oh. I'm so sorry. So when I read this scripture, I feel like, oh no, Heavenly Father, thank you so much that remind me to forgive. You know, um, husband and wife should not be mad to each other; should just love each other even more. So, and I know. So I when I when I saw this scripture, I feel like, oh, I feel really sorry for him that I'm mad with him. I didn't talk to him. I don't want to do anything or even call him at all. And then um, I'm like, okay, Heavenly Father, I'm gonna send um, the message and say sorry to him. He was he was in the conference, so um, he gonna be busy in that. Time in that time that I read the scripture, so I said, okay, I'm gonna send the message and say sorry to him, because you, you know I I feel like God spoke to me directly, and then I I want to take the action, I want to obey, I want to be obedient person, so I took that action, I sent out the message and I say sorry, God just want me to tell, uh, God want me. To say sorry and forgive you, whatever you did, maybe you know you didn't know, you didn't mean to, but I just want to say sorry for you, and I forgive anything that you, you know, make me feel angry or mad. So that's all the story, and then after that, I feel like I feel lighter. I feel, I feel that Heavenly Father just loved me and and want to bless me. So He just doesn't want. He doesn't want me to hold anything inside. It's unclean thing, because he want me to be happy. So this is my scripture that I love a lot, and I still remember. So since I start to do Bible journaling, I just want to put this scripture to remind, you know, my friends who watching me right now. So if you want your pray to become. The true, the, the true pray, the blessing from God, from Heavenly Father, who love you so much. So, if you're angry or you have something inside your mind, you're not forgiving someone, especially in your family, maybe your children, maybe your parents, maybe your husband or your wife. Just take the action. If you hear this message, or you can go to this script scripture, Mark eleven, um, Mark. Chapter eleven, verse twenty four, twenty five, twenty six. This all explained very clear, and I I hope you um will be willing to forgive and to feel that love from Heavenly Father, and of course for um, for your um family, for your people around you to love you even more. So now I'm kind of almost done with my writing with anything, my testimony, my um, Bible verses that I love, and then I just gonna do something more colorful by using the glitter tape and stick it on the bear. You can see that this is the bear, right? Because it's like bear your testimony. So I choose this cute notepad. This is so cute, and it's a sticky notepad, but it's like the bear shape. Yeah, it's so cute. So I link everything down here if you wanna get. You know, when I um, so I told myself if I if I have testimony on that verse, I'm going to put the sticky notepad, the bear, the bear one, like bear my testimony to people. And when in the future, if whatever I want to use this Bible, I can come up and open it. You can see, oh yeah, that's right. This is remind me this story. This is remind me to that experience. Maybe it's good, maybe it's bad, but remind me that I always have God with with me, and it helped me um, be blessed and have joy. 
enjoy time and joy in my life again. So um, Bible is just a living Bible. Whenever you go through during that time, it's going to always have something to, to teach you, to speak to you. And um, yeah, this is from God. This is the word of God. So I hope you can enjoy today <laughs> with my first time Bible journey to on my YouTube channel here, Be of Gucci. And if you like, please click me a thumbs up or subscribe. Or you can follow me on Instagram. You can send me message or everything. So have a blessed day.